I bet you didn't know George Orwell's 1984 is a gripping tale of a dystopian future. Published in 1949, Orwell's novel paints a bleak picture of a world where freedom is a distant memory. The book has become a cornerstone in discussions about totalitarianism and surveillance. The book has become a cornerstone in discussions about totalitarianism and surveillance. Orwell's vision was dark and omnipotent. He imagined a world dominated by an all-powerful state. This state, represented by Big Brother, controlled every aspect of life. Orwell's insight into the dangers of unchecked power rings true even today. 1984 is more than just a story, it's a warning. Section 2. The World of 1984 The world of 1984 is bleak and oppressive. The story is set in Oceania, one of three superstates. The government controls everything. The party led by Big Brother dictates what people can think and do. The protagonist, Winston Smith, works at the Ministry of Truth. His job is to alter historical records. This ensures that the party is always right. Truth is what the party says it is. Life in Oceania is harsh. People live under constant surveillance. Telescreens in every home watch and listen to everything. Privacy is non-existent. The thought police monitor thoughts and punish dissent. The society in 1984 is one of fear and conformity. Individuality is crushed. Obedience is demanded. The party's control is absolute, making rebellion nearly impossible. Section 3, Totalitarianism, the Iron Grip of Power. Totalitarianism is the central theme of 1984. The party exerts complete control over Oceania. This is achieved through propaganda, manipulation and fear. Big Brother's image is ubiquitous, reminding citizens of the party's power. The party rewrites history. It controls the present by controlling the past. This manipulation ensures that the party's version of truth is the only truth. Reality is what the party decides it is. Language is another tool of control. Newspeak, the official language, eliminates words that could foster rebellion. By restricting language, the party restricts thought. The party's control is not just physical, but psychological. Through constant surveillance and the threat of punishment, it creates a society where people police themselves. Totalitarianism in 1984 is all-encompassing and terrifying. Section 4. Surveillance, the all-seeing eye. Surveillance is a key element in 1984. The party watches everyone all the time. Telescreens are everywhere, in homes, streets and workplaces. They broadcast propaganda and monitor behaviour. The thought police are the enforcers. They root out unorthodox thoughts and behaviours. Even thinking against the party is a crime called thought crime. Fear of the thought police keeps people in line. Privacy is a forgotten concept. Every action, every word, even facial expressions are scrutinised. Children are indoctrinated to spy on their parents. Trust is shattered. Everyone is a potential informer. This constant surveillance creates a climate of paranoia. People can never be themselves. They must always act as if Big Brother is watching. This destroys any sense of individuality or freedom. Section 5. Individuality versus State Control. The struggle between individuality and state control is a major theme in 1984. The party seeks to eradicate individual thought. Conformity is enforced. Rebellion is crushed. Winston Smith represents the individual's fight against the state. He yearns for truth and freedom. His secret thoughts and actions are acts of rebellion. However, the party's power is immense. Julia, Winston's lover, also rebels, but in her way. She is more pragmatic, focusing on personal pleasures. Her rebellion is less about ideology and more about living in the moment. The party's ultimate goal is to break the human spirit. By controlling minds and actions, it aims to create a society of perfect obedience. The struggle for individuality is a losing battle in the world of 1984. Section 6. Winston Smith, A Struggle for Truth. Winston Smith is the protagonist of 1984. He is a man in search of truth in a world of lies. Working at the Ministry of Truth, he becomes increasingly disillusioned with the party. Winston's rebellion starts small. He writes in a diary, an act punishable by death. He seeks out forbidden knowledge and desires a world where truth exists. His love affair with Julia is another form of rebellion. Throughout the novel, Winston's struggle intensifies. He joins the Brotherhood, an underground resistance movement. However, he is betrayed. The party's power proves too great. Winston's journey is tragic. He is tortured and brainwashed. In the end, he is broken. 
His love for Big Brother is a testament to the party's dominance. Winston's fate is a stark reminder of the dangers of totalitarianism. Julia rebellion in a different form. Julia is Winston's lover and a fellow rebel. Her rebellion is more personal. She defies the party through small acts of defiance. Her focus is on personal pleasure and experiences. Their affair is risky. They meet in secret, constantly fearing discovery. Julia's approach to rebellion contrasts with Winston's. Her defiance is rooted in living life to the fullest. They are both captured and tortured. The party's control is absolute. Section 8, Big Brother, the symbol of oppression. Big Brother is the face of the party. He is omnipresent, watching over everyone. His image is a constant reminder of the party's power. Big Brother may or may not be real. His existence is less important than what he represents. The fear of Big Brother keeps the populace in line. The cult of personality around Big Brother is significant. Citizens are taught to love and revere him. This love is manufactured through propaganda. Big Brother's influence extends beyond the physical. He invades the minds of the people. He is the ultimate figure of oppression in 1984. Section 9. Relevance to modern society. 1984 remains relevant today. Orwell's warnings about totalitarianism and surveillance resonate in our world. Governments and corporations collect vast amounts of data. Privacy is increasingly elusive. The rise of authoritarian regimes echoes the themes of 1984. The manipulation of information and history is a tactic used by many. Orwell's vision of propaganda and control is evident in current events. Technology has advanced, making surveillance easier. Social media, smartphones and the internet track our every move. The concept of Big Brother is more real than ever. We must be vigilant in protecting our freedoms. Orwell's 1984 is a powerful reminder. It urges us to question authority and safeguard our rights. The novel's themes are a call to action in the face of modern-day challenges. Section 10, Conclusion, Orwell's Legacy and Our Future George Orwell's 1984 is a timeless masterpiece. Its exploration of totalitarianism, surveillance and individuality remains impactful. Orwell's vision is a stark warning about the dangers of unchecked power. The relevance of 1984 in today's world cannot be overstated. As technology evolves, the potential for abuse grows. Orwell's work urges us to remain vigilant and protect our liberties. Looking to the future, the lessons of 1984 are crucial. We must strive for transparency and accountability. The fight for truth and freedom is ongoing. Orwell's legacy inspires us to resist oppression. 1984 is more than a novel, it is a call to awareness and action. Orwell's insights continue to illuminate the path towards a just and free society. His work is a beacon in the fight against tyranny.